Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Kai Tenjo here, and today I'll be showing you my Marissa's deck profile. So, yes, two weeks, two weeks since school has started and I am dying of boredom. And my friend right here is being dumb and he's laughing. <laughs> One sec. Nice, so I beat his ass and... <laughs> Anyways, so let's get right into this one and yeah, like, share, comment, and subscribe. So let's get right into the first combo with Marunsa's Blue Tank and Marunsa's Dive. So yeah, let's see. Oh, wait a sec. Okay, let's continue. So Blue Slut, I mean the Blue Slug, of course, I'm kidding. Yes, the follow-ups and that this deck can commit is just so good. And yeah, this was a thing for the first combo and three cards in hand. We started with two and one spell and trap negate. So yeah, next combo. Oh, by the way, I have no idea why I started with two signing to mining. I just wanted you to know. Don't start with assigning to mining. Yes. Just like oh, it. And by the way, something I gotta say here is going into the Marinsas Marble Marble Marbled Rock, sorry my tongue is not working today. Uh, going into this card is actually useful for the summon out of the Aqua Argonaut because I don't know, if you summon anything else, your opponent can just attack over your monster, then deal some big damage and that might kill you later in the game so yes going into Marinsa's Marble Rock is just great so second combo so if you open Mar Marinsa's Battle Ocean or Mandarin or if you open Mandarin plus a Marinsa's Sea Dive that is the exact same thing nothing will be changed so Yes, go into the sea angel before the blue slut. I mean, it's a slug, of course. Foolish search. By the way, is this searches that we are getting out of blue sl blue tang? I still didn't use any. And yeah, I started with two cards. End our turn with three cards in hand, and it will be probably three when you start. Uh, that is cute cats and god damn it I'm recording a video here okay so normal testing so yes this is like the hand that you mostly want to open with except that the Marinsa's wave could be a cross out designator or um, call by the grave so yeah just two Marinsa's cards plus hand traps and yes And yeah, uh, Abyss Driller is like infinite negate, so I'm going to count that as a one. Yeah, I'm kidding. Uh, one Marinsa's Argonaut, one, one Infinite Impermanence, a Marinsa's Wave, and an Ash Blossom. By the way, fun fact that you didn't know about Marinsa's Wave. It doesn't say activate this card, negate one monster from your hand if you have blah blah blah. But I'm talking about the unaffected part. So all your monsters will be unaffected and not only your Marinsa's monsters. So if you activate this Marinsa's wave, 
the abyss dweller is unaffected by card effects which is pretty insane if you ask me so yeah infinite negates then for the duels so this time I'm playing against Alter guys with a fantastic hand. Look at this. He have Gamma Seal, the Sea Turtle, Kaiju, Ash Blossom, evenly matched Torrential, and he got everything he needs. And by the way, like his entire hand doesn't matter except like these two. Like these two cards broke my soul. But my hand is also decent, so I'm not that worried. So, going to Bahamut, link off with the Bahamut. And look at that, 5 negates with my Rinses. You know, I kind of felt that I used up the totally awesome effect kind of quickly. Protocol, Tribute. Yep, I'm in a pretty bad shape, but I'm still gonna win this. That annoyed the shit out of me, but at least I have fantastic follow-ups. If I just draw into one of my Rinses card, that would be it. That would be almost the game. Almost. And yep. Obviously I do not, but I still win the duel because I know what I'm doing here. That was a pretty bad for me, but I survive. And making negate, I don't give a shit. Because, yeah, I mean, by the way, this turn, I didn't use my normal summon. So even if you have another, like, bounce with something else, I don't know, that... I don't know, it's a trap card that adds a monster to your hand. Even if he did that, I could have still used my normal summon with the seahorse. So I won the duel. Let's go to the next one against DDDs. So yeah, game one I was beaten up pretty badly. So this is game two. And the chances of him just drawing that artifact psych. And yep, he surrendered. Do it. Wait, one. I think I turned. No, no, he surrendered. Yes. Uh, yeah. And by the way, he could have not surrendered and probably would have won the duel. Yes. Don't just scoop quickly, okay? Like, that hurts you. And my hand is stacked here. I mean, he can't banish, he can't play the game, so... This card is just too overpowered, like, this Machina is insane. And for those of you who think that, or who is thinking about, Hey, Kite, make a fucking uh, triple D deck profile, well, I do not have the enough brain power to play this deck. I tried, by the way, I tried making up combos, it was tiring, like literally. I can walk from my school to my house, which is a long way, and that still wouldn't make me tired as playing this deck, like literally. But even with this overpower support, I'm still going to beat him because I am knowing what I'm doing here. And sadly, he knows what he's doing too. And uh, I scooped, of course, because I have nothing to do here. He won the match, I only won game two, and hey, that's fair. So, next, would be Despia. Wait, well, where's game one? Oh, Kane, I remember. 
Yes, I think in one of my duels I lost connection so I couldn't save the replay. I'm not sure if it was Despia or some other deck. Spring Girl, I mean a Spring Girl, Foolishes, more Foolish and he obviously scoops like, yeah I mean, I mean she shouldn't have but he did so what can we do here? Okay next, Evil Twin Game 1. This deck just, oh what, hey yo what the hell? Okay, yes. Please, I want the cards. Okay, one second. Sorry, I have no idea what was I talking about, but my point is I have no idea how to beat the life twin or, or evil twin deck. I have no idea. I keep losing to this deck because I just don't play it and don't know where to uh, use my hand traps at, so I'm You have like three interruptions. Funny because I have also three interruptions. And nope. Nope. I'm destroyed. I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. I'm actually so fucked. And Nib. <gasps> oh, you mother. I completely forgot how... Uh, you don't know how annoyed I was when I knew he had the second cross out designator for the Nibiru in my hand. Like, that's some BS right there. Hacks, I call hacks. So, yes, Evil Twin Game 3. Hey, hey maybe the Game 3 was a uh, game that I disconnected. I don't know, I just know that I disconnected in a duel and I have no fucking idea who or against what deck. And look at my hand! My hand is dog tier garbage and look at his hand, he have like everything. Two interruptions and a cross out designator. At least top deck pa Pascal's for turn. I mean, I'm already in a too much disadvantage. Back row wipe. That hurts. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'll be just here chilling with my two card combos. Again, it's two veilers. Like, how annoying is that? Add the Mandarin, add the blue tank. I have all the interruptions I need. I mean, all the extenders. And follow up. So, this was a misplay, I did that without knowing that Marinsa's Wonder Hurt actually just summons its equipped monsters when it attacks an opponent's monster. I thought it was just if this card attacks, summon something, so uh, yeah, that was a misplay, my bad, I mean, I'm a noob, it's foolish. And Zeus, called by the grave, yeah. I read this card, so I called by the grave, did. And this draw is going to be useful. Hopefully. And yes, his last Zeus, he summons that, and I passed turn, so I misplayed, but hey, that's fine. So tell me, Evil Twin players, where should have I striked? Or, I mean, well, should I have I used my hand traps effectively against this deck? So, tell me down in the comments below, please, because I'm dying to beat this deck. Because I really do not want to read all of these texts and stuff, because that's boring and that's not my style. So, yeah, that was it for the Evil Twin. Now for the Reptiles. Snakes. Uh, two interruptions in my hand already. 
And again, this is like the ideal hand. Like two interruptions, cross out or call by the grave. Endure two Myrinces cards. Good cards. Of course. Negate. Like this is wait, huh? Well, how the f did I didn't use a Skullmeister? Yes, right now I'm dominating this duel, stealth the Kraken, add everything, marble rock, summon. And yeah, that is GG Nori. I could have attacked Wind for Zeus. Wait, no, I don't play Zeus. Never mind. And you get a point. This deck is fantastic. So PK Brave. So, oh, okay, 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 so this is the duel that I disconnected. This is why the third one doesn't show up, okay. I'm going to keep the best one for last, but yeah. This was so annoying. I could have 100% won that duel. Like, I'm 100% sure I could have won that. But, oh, God damn it, Nappa. It's all Nappa's fault. Let's be honest. Interesting. My hand is bad, like, I don't like this, I mean, I, okay, I have the Marinsus Wave, yeah, sure, cute, and, you know, I mean, I have five cards in hand, so, I'm not hurt badly. Like, why the, f why the fuck did he foolish for Ray? The fuck is wrong with him? Did he misclick or something? And did he banish his engage? Of course he banished his engage. He should have foolish for the... Oh my god, he misplayed a lot. Like, that one misplay killed him. Summon, add, search, summon, add, search, summon, add, search, search, summon, add, search, summon, add, search, search. Yeah, I mean, it's the game already. So... Another Nibiru. It doesn't matter, I tricked you because it's unaffected by card effects and it has 5k attack points. Yep, double. So, add that back and... Yeah, I mean... It is Mother Flippin... Sky Strikers, they can't do jack shit. Oh, by the way, here, he misplayed. Again, by the way. He misplayed again. He should have went for the Afterburner on the Blue Slug. So... Wait, did he have enough spells though? Yes, he had enough spells. So he should have went for the Afterburner, pop the Blue Slug, pop my Marinsus Battle Ocean, so now my... Uh, Marinsus Wonder Hurt is beatable. Then with the Marinsus Wave, won't uh, make my blue slug unaffected. So now he can't pop anything. Like the dude just doesn't read cards. Trust me, he really doesn't. Like look, like what the fuck is he doing? And that is so funny. And this card just doesn't matter. I have Marinsus Wave, and I could have attacked with uh, Animoni anyway. So yeah, that's it for G number one. Let's go to G number two. And I'm still going first. My hand isn't the greatest, but we will manage. Yes, we didn't manage on doing anything. But hey, at least it is a Sky Striker, so they will... Oh no. Yeah, forget it. Yo, when he went for the Zeke, without any reason, I thought for sure he had Pot of Avarice. Like, what the f*** are you doing, my G? 
That anoints a hell out of me. And that was a misplay, by the way. I knew he had the ghost bell in his hand because in game one, he did use his ghost bell and and or banish it using Copas. I mean, cross out designator. So I should have called for the ghost bell, but I'm so I'm such a damn ass. I just picked the wrong one. Fuck Ash Blossom. Search. Merch. I mean, he can't steal it, so I'm not afraid. And fuck. That is literally what I said when he did that to me. So, add that. Four hands, uh, four cards in hand, and you know, this is just beautiful. Negate. Nope. Nope. It's unaffected because of uh, Marissa's waves effect. Blue tank summon. I mean, this game at this point. Like, uh, please scoop and save us the trouble and the time. I don't have time. How do you feel when you get a ghost belt, my nigga? Okay, anyways, so... Yeah, that was it for the Sky Strikers. So let's go into PK Brave, which will be our last match. And fantastically, my hand is actually pretty neat. If... If only he had Ash Blossom or something else, literally, like, he plays Ash Blossom, doesn't he? Yes, Ash Blossom, Ghost Bell, he plays that package. And he just have to draw the one that I cannot call by. Summon Mandarin. Because her effects are delicious. Of course, negates the fusion destiny. Now he can't do jack shit. Yep, add summon, and I'm just going to flex a bit here. Yes, I literally could have just not did all of that and just attacked. Yep, G G Nori and props for him. For letting me. Okay. Sorry, my. Somebody's bothering me. Okay, he's going first this time. And my god, his hand. Whoa. Look at this. This is one tick boy. God damn. Like, he could have made five or more interruptions with that. But sadly, I just had everything here. My luck was boosted to the max. I mean, somehow. And I drew artifact Lancia for turn. What are the odds? Now, by the way, you might think that uh, drawing the second artifact Lancia was bad, but it is a reason why I won this duel, like literally. Wait, no. I didn't win this. I won the first game. The third game was the one I won in the inside. I lost connection, so I didn't save or replay. Fuck. His top deck was... Oh, god damn. His top deck was shit. And my top deck is also shit. And yeah, he can just attack. Go Zeus. I couldn't do anything. So, yeah, I should have just scooped right now because he have popped to send everything to the graveyard and yeah. Uh, let's, and this is basically the uh, last replay. Yeah. The third uh, Marcus versus Brave. Again, I told you I couldn't do anything about it. So, 
yeah, sad music and yeah this is it for my Marinces combos and testing videos I'm testing replays so don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you like this video or the likes I take not the video technically like who would like this bad audio and shit so yeah this was it and I'll see you next time peace